hello and welcome to my new video so today i am going to discuss with you all about conjunctivitis let's start so conjunctivitis means inflammation of the conjunctiva okay so remember whenever this it storm is related to something it indicates that something is inflamed so as this it is connected with conjunctiva then it indicates conjunctiva is inflamed let's continue so in this video i will discuss only selected uh, conjunctival disorders like bacterial viral and allergic conjunctivitis in the next video i will discuss other conjunctival disorders like ophthalmia neonatrum trachoma angular conjunctivitis and dermoid okay till then wait for that video and let's continue this video so first of all we will discuss about bacterial conjunctivitis what is bacterial conjunctivitis bacterial conjunctivitis is the inflammation if the inflammation of the conjunctiva is due to infection of bacteria then it is called as bacterial conjunctivitis so depending on the type of bacteria there is three type of conjunctivitis mucoprolin conjunctivitis purulent conjunctivitis and membranous conjunctivitis now uh, mucoprolent conjunctivitis so uh, what is mucoprolent conjunctivitis so mucoprolent conjunctivitis is that type of conjunctivitis uh, where um, there is marked hyperemia and mucoprolent discharge is there okay so you can see that there is mucoprolent discharge is seen here and there is also hyperemia so the causative organism of mucoprolent conjunctivitis is staphylococcus aureus and step uh, apart from this staphylococcus aureus other causative organisms are pneumococcus and streptococcus now what are the symptoms of this mucoprolent conjunctivitis first of all redness of the eye will be there then stickiness of the eyelid photophobia color halos will appear in front of the eye and there will be mucoprolent yellowish discharge okay signs are lead will be edematous conjunctival congestion and chemiosis and uh, mucoprolent discharge can be seen so what is the treatment so treatment of mucoprolent conjunctivitis is antibiotic treatment like chloramphenicol and ciprofloxacin remember don't use these drugs without a proper prescription or without uh, suggestion of an eye care professional okay always use these drugs uh, under supervision of an eye care practitioner now other uh, precaution that we can take uh, to avoid mucoprolin conjunctivitis or other eye related conjunct uh, infection is wash your hands properly make your hands clean and also if you are having this type of conjunctivitis then you can use dark glasses to prevent photophobia always clean your clothes and make you hygiene so that you can avoid this type of infection now let's move to purulent conjunctivitis so purulent conjunctivitis is the severe form of mucoprolin conjunctivitis the causative organism of purulent conjunctivitis is neisseria gonorrhoeae and the symptoms of mucoprolent and purulent are quite similar to each other just the main difference is that purulent conjunctivitis have more discharge than mucoprolent conjunctivitis okay so uh, what is the treatment treatment is penicillin eye drop tetracycline eye ointment can be used now let's move to membranous conjunctivitis so membranous by its name we can understand that there is a membrane will form membrane formation okay so membranous conjunctivitis is diagnosed by the presence of membrane as well as mucoprolin discharge can be seen okay and the lead will be edematous so uh, here we can see that in the uh, palpebral uh, conjunctiva there is a membrane is forming so this is membranous conjunctivitis the causative organism of membranous conjunctivitis is cornibacterium diphtheri so what is the treatment anti diphtheric drugs 
erythromycin eye ointment can be used to treat membranous conjunctivitis and apart from this uh, you should always maintain proper hygiene eye health to avoid this type of infection now let's move to viral conjunctivitis so viral conjunctivitis the main difference between bacterial conjunctivitis and viral conjunctivitis is that viral conjunctivitis have no discharge but in case of bacterial conjunctivitis there will be yellowish discharge so uh, in viral conjunctivitis i will appear reddish chemiosis will be there and over lacrimation can also seen but there will be no discharge so uh, viruses like adenovirus can call, lead to viral conjunctivitis so what is the treatment antiviral drugs like uh, acyclovir iodozuridine this type of drugs are used to treat viral conjunctivitis now let's move to allergic conjunctivitis allergic conjunctivitis means the conjunctivitis that means inflammation of the conjunctiva is due to some allergic reaction in the body this is allergic conjunctivitis so uh, here the conjunctiva will appear inflamed as well as the eyes will also appear as inflamed as you can see here so what is the treatment that steroid drugs are used uh, to treat the allergic conjunctivitis and avoid uh, those uh, places where you you have a tendency to uh, have allergy okay so that is the treatment option and precaution that we can take to get rid of this allergic conjunctivitis or if you are having allergic conjunctivitis then uh, steroid drugs are used so but uh, you should consult with an uh, ophthalmologist or an optometrist before taking any drugs so uh, that's all friends thanks for watching and please don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel thank you so much